Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, um, this is a Leo-only channel. My name is Gina. Uh, cross watchers are welcome if you would like to view other sign placements you could go to my main channel tarot of light um, i also have a cancer only channel and a virgo only channel the links for those are in the description box below um, i also have a whole list in the description box of everything that i give away so just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section uh, like share comment subscribe um, the month the winners are chosen on the first of the month okay um, what else do I want to tell you? I think that's it. All right, guys, readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, if this reading does not resonate with you, please try to have some sympathy and compassion for whoever it does resonate with. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get pop in here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know today in love please what does leo need to know today in love please spirit what does leo need to know today in love please spirit leo sun moon rising and venus signs please spirit okay so we have the ace of cups in the reverse and we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So Leo, okay, a lot of readers see the Knight of Wands as this big bad wolf, this big player energy, okay? I personally feel that the Knight of Cups is way more dangerous, Leo. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the Knight of Cups is someone that will actually romance you and woo you and court you and get you to fall in love. Whereas the Knight of Wands, it's a little bit more like the Knight of Wands is just covered in red flags. So you're more likely to fall in lust with the Knight of Wands and in love with the Knight of Cups. So the energy that I'm getting here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Cups, this is going to, this could be an energy of, I don't want anyone else other than you. I don't want to go somewhere new. I want to come towards you. Or it could be an energy of somebody that is pursuing somebody and romancing them. But with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, they're not in love. Okay. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So Leo, we've got someone here that is very disappointed. They're in a lot of pain. They see that this connection is a complete failure. And with the four of pentacles, I don't feel like this person wants to give to the connection anymore. Um, you know, they, there's a sense of with the knight of pentacles and the hanged man, someone here maybe was waiting for commitment with the, um, hanged man, knight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Uh, someone here maybe was waiting too long for a uh, commitment in this connection. There's that knight of pentacles again. Yeah. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be that somebody was just waiting too long for, you know, for someone to make a decision as to whether they wanted to commit. Or it could be that you were dating this person for a while and one person here, really, their heart just wasn't in it, okay? Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords. Well, this person is very attracted and the Five of Swords. It could be that, you know, this person was just using uh, for sex, Okay, I mean, plain and simple, it could be that this was just a very sexual connection. After they got what they wanted sexually, they would just leave. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah, I feel like we're dealing with a situation here where one person wanted long-term commitment and the other person was just kind of in a hit it and quit it mode, okay? But the way they did it, but the way they did it was really messed up because they didn't come in with all those red flags. They really strung somebody along emotionally, okay? Uh, look, see the page of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Now we just saw the queen of pentacles. This person was waiting for a marriage proposal. They were waiting for long term commitment, moving in together. And with that four of cups, this is somebody with the four of cups and the four of pentacles. This is someone saying, you know what? I'm not giving to this anymore because I know I'm never going to get what I want out of this. Tell me about Leo. Yeah. Queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The trust is gone. 
the trust is gone. Someone here is, is putting their sword up. I don't believe you anymore. I don't trust this anymore. I don't feel safe here anymore. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the Lover's card and the Eight of Wands. So the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, is a card for me of, you know, a beautiful soul tie connection. You got Adam and Eve, but there's also the snake there, okay? There's also that temptation. You see the apple and the snake coming in between these two lovers. So I feel like we could be dealing with somebody here that still speaks to multiple people, or if there's any form of temptation, they move towards that, okay? Um... There is communication and there is, you know, forward movement here, but is this person, you know, is this person maybe in a relationship and they were using this person as a third party? We're going to clarify. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah, we've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. So this could be an energy where there was someone that was starting to catch feelings, but what they weren't realizing is, is that they were being used as a third party. They were being used as... The Queen of Wands is a beautiful energy. The Queen of Wands is someone very, you know, uh, it's a go-getter energy, a competitive energy, someone that loves to go out, someone that loves to have a good time, a very creative energy, someone that loves to travel, generally a very good-looking man or woman, okay? Someone very passionate, um... And I feel like the person on this side was starting to catch feelings, not realizing that they were being used for, you know, either their body, their looks, for a good time. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, it could be that someone here is married or it could be that, you know, someone here was expecting marriage or some form of commitment. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Let's clarify this. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in the reverse. Three of Pentacles. It could be here, guys, that somebody wasn't looking for love. They were just looking for a friendship. It could be, again, with that Three of Pentacles, this person could have been in a relationship and they were just looking for a friends with benefits on the side. Um, you could possibly work with this person. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the three of the chariot in the reverse. Yeah, Cancerian energy. This is someone, the person on this side came into this connection knowing that, you know, they would never choose the person on this side. But with the eight of wands, they did pursue it. They did chase it. You know, a lot of communication, a lot of sex, a lot of chasing. Knight of cups and the devil, Capricorn energy. This is somebody that, you know, maybe found this person on this side very attractive, very tempting. OK, so, you know, it, it's just crazy, though, because they didn't come in as that knight of swords. They didn't come in with any red flags. You know, this person came in as very charming, very sweet. Tell me about the ace of wands energy and the king of wands in the reverse. Leo Sagittarius energy. Now, look, we've got a true pair, the king and queen of wands. But that king of wands in the reverse is somebody that's just following their lust. This is somebody that could be very controlling, very passionate, non-committal, okay? Um, living in the ego. This is someone that doesn't care who they hurt just as long as they get what they want. And with that ace of wands energy, I do feel like this person um, is in an energy of, you know, just wanting sex, to be honest with you, just wanting to go out, have sex. With the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, this could also be a representation, Leo, of whenever this person gets into an argument. If this person's in another relationship, it's whenever they get into an argument with their person and they go storming out of the house and they're bored and they've got nothing to do, that's when they move to this person here. Tell me about the lover's card and the nine of swords. This person could be in a very toxic relationship. Nine of swords and the lover's card, please. Nine of swords and the lover's card with the strength card, Leo energy. And the five of pentacles. So Leo, it could be that the person on this side is in a relationship that really stresses them out. But with the strength card and the five of pentacles, they won't leave. They won't leave that connection. I'm sorry, guys. Buddy is storing. 
Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please, and the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> See, you know, they always, they always go back. They always go back to this relationship. Eight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, they end up missing this person. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Leo energy. They go in with an apology. Five of Cups, they feel bad. Eight of Cups, they try to work things out. Do you see what I'm saying with the Fool card and Temperance? This is always, okay, so, so this person on this side is in a relationship that they're not happy in, but they won't leave. They won't leave. It's like it consistently comes back together. They're constantly giving it another chance. But whenever they're fighting with their person, I feel like they go here possibly. Tell me about this Five of Cups and the Justice card in the reverse Libra energy. Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone here is being treated very unfairly. And they're, they're holding back from the connection. This person just wants it to end. They want it to end uh, with the nine of cups under the deck and the ten of cups. Their wish fulfillment would have been to have long term in this connection. Four of cups, please, for Leo. The death card, scorpionic energy, yeah. This person is really sad. They're really upset that this didn't work out. Ace of pentacles and the king of cups with the ace of wands and the king of cups. Um, they this person wanted it all you know they, they had passion commitment love for this connection they really wanted this to work but with the four of cups and the death card they know this needs to end scorpionic energy queen of wands with the knight of swords and the ten of cups and the eight of swords so you know again we're getting the same cards here queen of wands i feel like you know the, the person on this side was very in and out very in and out, possibly just using this person for sex or whatever they needed at that time. With the Ten of Cups, this whole time, you know, this Queen of Wands was falling in love, you know, and with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles with the Judgment card, um, I feel like the person on this side knew that something wasn't right. I don't know if the person on this side knows exactly what's going on. I don't know if the person on this side um, is 100% sure that there's someone else in the picture, but they know that something isn't right. Maybe because this person's taking too long to commit, or it could be that, you know, someone here is just seeing that this person's way too in and out. They're not picking up the phone on certain times of the day, uh, but this person's making the decision to hold back. You know, Knight of Pentacles, again, too long. Like it's either too long to come in or it's, you know, they're here on a Tuesday and then they don't come back till Friday type of thing. Yeah, you see, we've got the Lover's card, Gemini energy again, because there's there's too much, too many people here. There's too many people here. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, please. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. We've got the moon card and the seven of swords, cancer, Piscean energy. This is why they're taking so long because they're cheating. They're lying. They're being deceptive. Okay. And I feel like, you know, yeah, see three of cups and the ace of cups with the empress and the four of wands. Good Lord with the unknown card and the hierophant Leo, someone here may be straight up married. I feel like someone here has fallen in love with somebody that's married. This person's wife may even be pregnant. There may be a baby on the way. Someone here is married. Okay. Or in a very high level of commitment. So if you're wondering why it's taking so long, to commit, that's why. And if you're wondering why this person takes so long to text back or to come back around, that's why. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here, please, for Leo and the Three of Swords. Yeah, you're not, so the, the person on this side is not trusting it. They've got questions now. Now the question is, uh, is this a third party situation? What's happening here? Do you see what I'm saying? Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's waking up to the fact that something is not right. They're not right. Yeah, it's not right. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Tell me about the Hierophant. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me about this Hierophant and this Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel, again, questions. Like, are you married? Are you in a relationship? Do you already, you know, have somebody? Tell me about this Queen. Is the truth going to come out here? Is the truth going to come out? The hanged man and the three of wands. I feel like <coughs> I feel like someone is still waiting to find out the truth. 
Yeah, someone here is still waiting to find out the truth. It's like the sense of not really being sure. Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I, I do feel that, Leo, someone's walking away because they see it. It's too confusing. Nothing is making sense. There may be, um, uh, there may not be any proof here, Leo, though. You might be needing to walk away without any physical proof. I feel like what has kept you in this connection the whole time is giving this person the benefit of the doubt, okay? But I feel like it's becoming all too confusing now, okay? I feel like you're literally asking, are you you in another relationship are you married like the, these questions are really happening at this point um and with the five of swords and the seven of cups this is a tremendous amount of mind games being played manipulation happening here especially five of swords the seven of cups and the magician with the queen of wands this is someone that i mean is hardcore manipulating they don't want to answer any questions with the eight of cups and the tower and the high priestess and the emperor you're just going to have to use your intuition here leo and just know that something is not right this just doesn't smell right it's not sitting right um yeah and i had three of uh, three of cups and the seven of wands you're not trying to get yourself caught up in a third party and it's going to be sad and it's going to suck because you saw this person as somebody that you could really be with long term um but i don't i just feel like you're walking away because it's just too shady that it's just too too many shades of gray here you see what I'm saying? Too many shades of gray. Like nothing is really making sense. Nothing is, you know, and I feel like this person doesn't really answer Leo. They don't really have answers for anything. They're good at deflecting. You ask, you know, ask a question, they'll ask one back. You, you know, bring up a good point and they'll ask you what you want to eat for dinner. Like they, they don't really, there, there's too, just too many, too many different shades of gray in this situation and you're not liking it and you're going to pull back. Okay. And I think that's the best thing you can do for yourself. All right. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you soon. Bye my loves.